What is up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be dedicating this to the entire Dino Tycoon world as you can see right here and giving my opinions on it because I think this is one of the best uh, features that they've added so far in Pest Simulator 999 yet. And it's actually pretty cool because, you know, it's not like your normal Pest Simulator 999 gameplay. You're pretty much adding a Tycoon uh, feature to it, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a simulator really add a you know, Tycoon before. Maybe they have, I don't really know, but, but, you know, I don't think they did it up to this big of a scale. Like, as you can see, this is a huge map right here. And, you know, there's also different things you can do, like open up main chest. They pretty much add Pest Simulator 999 gameplay to this, which is absolutely great. Like, you know, they shouldn't have made it just a Tycoon. They should have added, you know, like, as you can see, this is a pretty cool idea. They added like breakables and stuff. You know, you can open up eggs. As you can see right here, it's a pretty phenomenal idea. And they also added rebirths, which I think, you know, is cherry on top for the tycoon. And they also have the added dino meters, which are pretty much like comets, but for this world in specific, which I think is also pretty amazing. And they've added two parts to this update. I believe this might be the last one because you usually only add like two parts to the like, you know, events. And they also like added like, you know, friend boost for dino gifts and stuff. They also added like a bunch of dino huges and uh, pets. But the one thing I do not like about this event is that they added a dino pack for you know the huges like some of these dino huges right here but at this point this comes in every single update so you, you know you can't put the complete blame on just this event alone and also i forgot to mention they added like this secret lab right here which gives you 25 times huge chance which i think is amazing because you know at that point you're pretty much encouraged to actually rebirth as you can see right here we've got the rebirth shrine pretty much unlocking different buttons and you know it's pretty well scaled i don't think it's that grindy maybe at the beginning it's a little bit grindy but once you rebirth it gets a whole lot easier i also really do like the jet ski feature as you can see right here there's like uh, four tiers actually of jet skis and each one is a little bit faster obviously you don't really need these because you have your hoverboards but you know if you just want to you know go around with it as you can see it's super fast and i just actually fell off let's try that again uh as you can see we're going super fast like this is probably faster than a hoverboard actually so yeah this is amazing you know you can just cruise around here you can go all the way down here to this uh chest right here at the in the middle of the map and you know it, it's pretty cool it's really engaging this whole event um, it, you know, it is grindy. I mean, every tycoon is grindy, but they give you a lot of different things to actually do, whether it's the chest here, right here, or like the meteors that fall down to, for a chance to get the meteor gift. I think there's a lot of stuff to do. And I actually, I mean, you, once you get over here to this island right here, I don't think you can get back. So you're pretty much going to have to reset or something. And actually, we can't even reset. So we're going to have to go all the way back. And I think that's probably going to be the only bad part of this update that's actually truly for the event. And so this is why I think the Dino Tycoon in Pet Simulator 99 is one of the best updates that they've made so far because it's super unique. I mean, I think it's more unique than most of their updates that i've made so far and it's a very cool idea that they should add in the future you know for other stuff you know they added obbies which is you know pretty cool that pretty much that helped out the release being amazing for the game and who knows in the future they might add like some story game to this which would be a completely amazing like i think that'd be uh, crazy if they did add some more like genres and stuff and if you want to know my opinion on the current forever pack inside of the game make sure to check out this video right here